Just a heads up, I mentioned Positron a few times in this tutorial. I think it's a great tool for audiobook QA. I use it for all of my audiobook production. And if you want to check it out, please use the affiliate link in the description or go to brianwiggins.com slash Positron. Also, you can check out my tutorial on using Positron by clicking the link in the video. This tutorial uses Audacity version 2.3.3, but the menus and methods are still compatible with version 3.2.4, which is the most recent version as of the making of this video. Punch and Roll, also known as Punch and Run, is one of the two tools that cut my audiobook production time way, way down. What used to take me more than four hours of recording and production for every finished hour of audio now takes me less than two. Part of that is practice and experience. Part of that is using Positron for QA. But Punch and Roll accounts for a huge amount of time savings. And if audiobooks are your thing, then it's well worth the investment to get this set up. First, here is what you'll need in your recording space. A monitor. You need to be able to see where you're placing the track marker. If you have to run out of your booth or recording space every time you need to make an edit, you might as well stick with dog clicker recording. Check out my tutorial on how that works. Headphones. You'll need to be able to hear the tracks so you know you're placing the track marker in the correct spot and when to start recording. Your headphones should also not bleed sound into your mic if you record while monitoring. That's when you can hear your voice in your headphones while you're recording. If they do bleed sound, it will create a less than desirable quality to your tracks. Keyboard. You'll need some way to stop recording and to tell Audacity to punch and run. I have a wireless 10 keypad in my booth because it's small and unobtrusive. If you only have a regular keyboard that you can get into your recording space, that's just fine. Alright, let's get some things set up in Audacity to make this work better for you. 1. Set up punch and roll settings. First, go to the edit menu, then preferences. Select recording from the preferences on the left hand side of the window. At the bottom, you will see the punch and roll options. Pre-roll is how much time you want the recording to go back from where you want your edit. 5 seconds is standard, but if you want more or less, you can change that here. Remember to give yourself enough time to prepare yourself to pick up the recording, but not so much that it slows down your production. I would recommend leaving it at 5 seconds. Crossfade is the amount of time that Audacity will use to fade down the previous recording and fade up the new one. This helps reduce pops and clicks in the track where the two recordings meet. Again, I would leave it where it is. Alright, next, let's get some keyboard shortcuts set up. Go to Edit and Preferences again. This time, go to the Keyboard option. Search for Stop. This is because when you make a mistake, you'll need to be able to stop recording. We're looking for the command that is simply Stop. Select it. Click on the input field at the bottom of the screen. Whatever key you hit when your cursor is in it will appear here as the hotkey for that command. I've chosen the decimal point on the keypad. Choose whatever works for you. If that key is already used by another command, you'll get a warning and you should select something else. Once you have the hotkey you want, click Set. That is now the hotkey for Stop. Alright, now search for Punch and Roll Record. Repeat the steps to set a hotkey for this. I've chosen the Enter key on the keypad. Remember, the Enter on the keypad is different than the Enter key that is above the right shift button on your keyboard. When you're all done, click on OK. Now let's set up your screen. You should do what works for you. This is just how I do it. Because my mic is on the right side of my booth, I keep the window with the manuscript I'm narrating on the left. This way, I can keep a good distance from the mic, see the manuscript clearly, and have my head angled to reduce mic pops without sacrificing on sound quality. Now we're ready to punch and roll. Begin narrating. I stood at the edge of Regal Heights, watching the flicker of lanterns and torches as people moved throughout the city. The wind blew. When you make a mistake or you need to stop for any reason, hit your hotkey to stop recording. Place the track marker where you want to pick up recording. Hit your hotkey for punch and roll. The track will be split where you place the marker, and everything to the right of it, the stuff you want to re-record, will be deleted. The track will back up the amount of time that you set in the punch and roll preferences, in this case, 5 seconds. When the track reaches your marker, playback will stop and recording will automatically begin at that point. 
continue narrating. Watching the flicker of lanterns and torches as people moved throughout the city. The wind blew past, carrying the scent of sulfur as it tussled my black hair. And that's it. The big upside? No more editing. If you combine this with good hydration and mic technique to reduce mouth clicks and mouth noise, and Positron for QA, you'll find that your production time will go way down. Hey, if you found this tutorial helpful, could you please like the video and subscribe to the channel? And if you're interested in Positron, please click on the affiliate link down below. I promise you, it'll be an awesome tool for you. You can also check out other voiceover tutorials on my channel.